top line, there's a small miss because volumes have come in a tad bit lower. But that's not out of the back. Some part of the street, yes, they were expecting a bit of a degrowth. The margins really are something that the street likes uh, very, very much because the margins have come in far better than what the street is estimating. We were working with the number of roughly around 640 rupees per ton on an EBITDA per ton basis. It's coming at around 670 rupees per ton. I'll give you a couple of other details. The power and fuel costs per ton has fallen down by close to around 13% on a year-on-year -year basis. On a sequential basis, it's fallen by nearly around 4%. Fred and forwarding costs as well is down by nearly 10% on a sequential basis. And also, if you take a look at it, even on a year-on-year -year basis, it's uh, sharply lower. So those numbers, margin-wise, they're looking good. Sustenance of this kind of a performance is uh, going to be key. And uh, we did see the top line disappoints, but that's a very small disappointment. The EBITDA beat is really making up for the top line miss as well as the marginal miss on the bottom line as well. We have VGAR's